What's up, IG? Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? I know these glasses are super big, uh, but I think they're super cute. <laughs> I'm not, I can't push them too much. I got my lashes on, but it is game day, uh, and my team is about to win. Well, I hope we do. I'm going to keep the spirit going. I just hope we do. So, hey, hello, 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 everybody. Hey, mm -hmm. where's my heart? No hearts today. No. Look, 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 look. What I wanted to talk to y'all about is a hot topic. I was supposed to have done this yesterday, but things got busy. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the hearts. I got really, really busy. I purchased my own hookah. Black and white. Y'all know I'm the black and white queen. <laughs> so it's black and white. Oh, God. So, <laughs> smoked a little bit of it. And, um... I, I was, uh, what, what did I do today? Oh, sex on the beach. I smoked sex on the beach today. <laughs> loving ass. Are you? Y'all always loving a big old ass. So, the topic is what I want to talk to you guys about. Um. Why don't you care? How often, how often do you think that sex partners are supposed to have sex with each other. I'm like you and your sex, you and your significant other. How often are y'all supposed to have sex? That is the hot topic for today, and I want to hear from you guys. You are, you are starting. Studying me as a very great judge. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Y'all look sexy. Thank you. OMG, you're fine as fuck. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. You're sexy. Thank you. Mwah. Can I get some feedback on the topic? Hi, right, guys. Sorry. Uh, I keep getting calls. I keep ignoring them, trying to ignore them. Um, please check, uh, four times out of the week. Okay. I thought you, I, I misread it. I thought you meant four times out of a day, but four times out of a week. Dang. But I mean, like, don't y'all work? <laughs> Shit. Like, that's a lot. I pull it guys stop. Isn't that a lot though? Like four times out of a week? Shit. Um I look better with the hair. Thank you guys. A lot of people like my shorter hair though. It's cool. Um I don't me, I I'll say about twice a week. I mean, look, you don't want to get bored of each other. You at least can do some role-playing stuff. You don't have to have sex. You can cuddle. Like, just, you know, get each other. Depends on work schedule, how good it is. If you got kids, you got to wait till they sleep. True. Or you think I'm home <laughs> twice a week. And then I think you should just, you know, do little, do little sexy things. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you do a little sexy thing, like take me to the, the, the lake and take me, take me to do something we ain't never done before. Carriage ride and stuff. I might get horny and want to do it again. <laughs> um... To you can do things in between the sex to keep the romance hot. Yes. Hi, gorgeous. Hi. Um, I'm just saying, how often do you think, urban counselor, you just popped in, so I didn't see your answer. Um, 
English, please. It depends if you're making love or just quickies. Yeah, well, if I'm only getting it like twice, I'm pretty sure you're not going to try to make it a quickie. I want you to try to, you know, stay in there a little longer. Stay in there a little bit longer. <laughs> um, That's why I say do the foreplay between times. You know, keep your mind... Might go to edible arrangements. Edible arrangements. Flowers is nice. Um, always anything with the water. The lake. Go, you know, go get in a pool. I wish I can, you know, low location. I could do some skinny dipping. I mean, you know, I think that's just, that's just shit. You know, skinny dipping. I said twice a week. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I don't know that's just me I'm just a romantic I mean like no, don't think I wouldn't try to get it in like if you you done made me feel so good I might want to get it in in the car and so I was a totally good girl <laughs> I'm like let's do it right here baby I can't wait I can't wait till we get home you so good to me I want to be good to you I want to be really good to you um Good evening, Mr. Wills. Hello. I right, what's up? We haven't uh, this is uh we're doing hot topics if you just popped in. And it's how, how often do you think you and your significant other should have sex with each other? Um, let me see what he said. It's normal, but one thing I feel couples is not to deprive your made out of in, in, yeah intimacy because they have needs to be met yes some guys don't think about that you know that's why I don't know May, I think that's why it's a lot of cheating nowadays because you don't talk like most people don't talk no more something bothers them they'll talk to somebody else other than that person and if the person don't know what's bothering you then how y'all gonna fix it Y'all gonna each, you know, have that fucking, you know, wall built up. Tear that fucking wall down. You know what I'm saying? Surprise your dude. Like, you know, he come in from work. You know, have his, either go wash his back. <laughs> we already know what that ends up. Um, Massage his feet. Do his feet. I mean, you know, you stand all day on your on your feet anyway. You're working anyway to take care of your wife. She got to take care of you. Sure enough, have a cold beer waiting for him. Meet him at the door naked. Well, he might, okay, let me tell you something. That do be backfiring because he may come home with a friend. So in case he didn't call you and say, oh, I'm going to have company. That one ain't going to work. <laughs> Meet him at the door with a long... Something on with nothing abundant. You know, just, you know, it, it don't take much. What's your favorite things you like to do on a romantic, romance tip? Um, every chance possible? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Whoop. They gonna be fucked down. Who you calling fake? I know you ain't calling me fake. You don't even know, you know what, fuck that. You know, let me not even fuck up our good vibe we having. Get your fucking dumb ass out. Um, see, that's what I'm talking about. Ghetto ass niggas thinking that black women don't do shit like that. You know, when they see me at the bar and I'm singing Footloose and shit, I grew up in the country. And I went to a semi-all-white school, and they were very prejudiced. And when we went to have school dances, they were mostly country. I know how to do all that shit, because that's how we maybe had a fruit wrap. And I mean, ate fruit. You know, did nobody throw a house party after that shit? We didn't get that. So, all the shit that 
guys think women, certain women are used to, they can miss me with that shit because, you know, like, I don't know how everybody else is. I know how I am. So, I'm just giving some pointers, you know, like, maybe your life. But if you know you got a ghetto ass broad, then you do ghetto ass things. That's what you want. That's why you pick them. I think every day, sex and conversation, every day, nah, you don't want to wear it out. Because you get it every day, then you know, I'm tired of this shit, want something new. That's my thing about that everyday stuff. And plus, when you're working... And you really got a a hard job. You're not going to be wanting to have sex every day. That's if you're young, maybe. That's anybody. But when you up and you get up in there, you ain't going to be doing that shit every day. Thank you, Urban. I love to clock out and come home to you today. See, that's what I'm talking about. Shit. Shit, fuck it. I mean, you know, I have a, I have even did this. I have even went to my dude's job. Like, if he worked in one of the big old office buildings with all them. I even went to his job and surprised him. And we might not have sex because it's 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 not really easy to do unless you just really cool with your, uh, you know us. But, but if that nigga know a spot, then I'm finna be tripping. Like, who the fuck you done fucked here? So... Uh, I just come and surprise him, just walk up and be looking good and shit. Cause I got a big ass booty and I'm sexy. So all his people gonna be looking. That's gonna already be like, damn, who is she? That's you? Dang. Shit. Like, baby, here, I brought you some lunch. Can't wait for you to get home. I got something for you. I'll see you later, daddy. Shit like that. Yes, black women are very incredible lovers. Shit, white women too, you know what I mean? It's a little my Bella. <laughs> Shaking my head. So many com- complex to our black women that are beautiful. Yeah. But then they don't know because I talk to a lot of women. And they, you know, they be saying stuff. And they be like, that dude don't even compliment them. Hey, Edward Benjamin, what's up? <laughs> and it just starts there, like conversation. Like, you know, like I say, if you open up to him, women like, we, unfortunately, we like for y'all to pay attention. And I know it's sometimes y'all be like, oh, shit. But we love to hear that shit from our mans. We don't, you know, we don't want to hear. We hear the shit all day when we go out. We want to hear it from our dude. You know, some dude kick, you know, they fuck that shit up. What's your thoughts about black men speaking bad about black women to get with white women or white women from other races? Okay, first of all, I'm not going to start that shit. I don't feel like that debate. That's another topic for another day. We're on this one. You can ask me anything about what we're talking about right now and how you can, whatever you can do to kind of like whatever, but that topic which you just brought up, that's another topic. And the game is going to start and I have to start kicking, so I don't have very much time. Um, I know that's a, the right sex every day. That's a no, no. <laughs> Uh, that's your sexy voice. Thank you. I found that out since being married that you're not having sex every day. But if it has to be built into our self-care schedule. Well, you know, marriage is a, you know, it's a give and take thing. You know, like I say, you know, you, you got married to that person for a reason. But, you know, don't let things get old. Don't let things get real dull. You know, you don't never want them looking looking at nobody else like they look at you. You want to keep that going. Some kind of way you want to bring it back. I wouldn't be able to get enough of a uh, beautiful lady like you. <laughs> um, You probably would. I'd probably be drive your ass crazy. You from Chile? Oh, what's up then? <laughs> but I like the conversations, and even we 